don't do it. All right. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, um, welcome back. I thought I'd do a bonus video. As you all already know, there is a video that's already up on Friday on full fashion. But today I wanted to go through my top skin hacks. I challenge you to have not heard of, of one, at least one skincare tip that I'm going to give you in this video. So this video is in partnership with Clarins. Uh, Clarins is one of those companies and brands that's been around forever so i trust the products behind the name so i'm going to show you two particular products from clarins that i've been using as part of my skincare routine in the mornings and in the evenings as well so after i've cleansed my face i go in with the clarins double serum now this is their worldwide number one seller apparently this is sold every five seconds around the world serums basically they are highly concentrated formulas that have active ingredients that just penetrate your skin deeper and also it helps to revitalize your skin from the inside out and it just helps with the moisturizer that you're going to use afterwards so the first thing i do is i lightly rub my hands together to warm the serum up and just to activate the ingredients to absorb more deeply into my skin so then i just press the serum into my skin now this is supposed to help with removing toxins um, depuffing your skin helping to boost radiance and just help stimulate lymphatic drainage also I've used if I've used any eye creams I'll put that on first and then I will follow with the serum I use the Clarins Hydra moisturizer now using the um, moisturizer on top of your serum helps both the serum and the moisturizer to absorb more deeply into the skin same thing I just apply a little of the moisturizer to my hand I just warm it up in my hands um, just to activate the ingredients and I just distribute it evenly over my skin um, forehead cheeks and obviously all the way down to my neck area as well now what I like is that it doesn't feel greasy at all um, and it just absorbs really well into my skin and again, I'm just gently pressing it into my skin, just like I did with the serum. And don't forget, when you're using both the serum and the moisturizer in combination, it helps to boost the benefits of the moisturizer to just hydrate your skin even better. And one thing I like about the double serum in particular is that it helps with all the issues that I want to address, right? So helping to tighten the appearance of your pores, more even skin tone, and just to help to visibly minimize the look of fine lines and wrinkles and just over time just may have a more radiant looking skin. Don't forget to check out the link in my description box to try out any of the other serums that Clarence has for depending on your skin concerns. Right, so these skin tips or skin hacks, however you want to call them, like I said, been using these some of these for years some of these in the past few months um but they every single thing here works all right let me just get stuck right in first one absolutely staying out the sun actually actually I put that at number two but i'm going to put that as number one stay out of the friggin sun is the biggest i think cause of your skin aging quickly that's probably everybody probably knows that by now but i cannot emphasize enough how for me i have noticed a difference you get sunspots um, if you've got like any um, acne and acne marks like scarring left behind from any acne marks it um, kind of bakes them into my skin so that's one of the reasons i just i'm originally from st lucia i'm born and raised in london but i'm from originally st lucia and that's the caribbean when i'm over there i'm always wearing wide brim hats i've got i have a nice wide one i wear that I wear that hat all the time. It is a men's hat. I'll link it for you below if you're interested. But that has been my lifesaver. I've worn it here in New York in the summertime and I always wear that hat when I'm in St. Lucia as well. Just stay at the sun. I'll even cross over to the other side of the street and walk in the shade. Um, even when I'm driving the car, right, I will have something here on the side of my face because, and I think dermatologists have actually said this, which is just from you meeting a dermatologist and if you're a driver often they can tell because one side of your face will often have like more freckles or more sunspots than the other side of your face and that's literally because of you driving like and this uh, just the rays that's hitting that side of your face through the window and i am a driver as well as a passenger sometimes so i'm very conscious of that and i will literally have something that's covering my face while i'm driving like on that side like on the window so and with the sun i notice that for example um i get a lot of um you call them moles but some people call them freckles i call them more like moles because on me especially for black women we get these um i think they're called moles where they they're very dark they're not black they're very dark brown they actually start to rise up on your skin 
and I don't <laughs> I don't want to end up with Morgan Freeman skin Morgan I love you you're a brilliant actor I you are amazing I've noticed for me that when I'm in the sun too much they rise that's the only way I can put it and I've had to go to a dermatologist in the past and have them like literally removed it's hereditary in my family my mum's got them cousins uh, my you know we we have those and I only go to that dermatologist like I don't know once every five years so it's not often but it's enough to keep them in check but I know that if I'm out in the sun a lot it's gonna um increase them even more because i've seen it happen to me stress oh my gosh stress i didn't realize how much stress can affect your skin on your face exactly 12 months ago i was very stressed out with work and other things going on and i broke out it was ridiculous and looking back now because hindsight is always 2020 I realize now that it was stress that just made my skin literally erupt. So that is one of the major things I try now to keep under control. If I feel like I'm stressed, like with work and stuff like that, I just don't let it get to me. I used to, but I don't do that anymore. Um, I try to give myself way more breaks than before. You know, like a nine to five job, you have your weekends off. I don't, I literally work all around the clock, like Monday to Sunday non-stop my weekends blur into my work week because what i do for a living is create content and it's every single day so in essence i never have that friday shut off where i can just have a break and put my feet up for a weekend and then come back on again on monday just find your own way to deal with stress i don't care what it is leave a comment below let me know the best things that you've done to help you with stress this time last year my skin was like and I see in your face, oh my God. I mentioned this before in a YouTube video and some of you were like, what does, I don't understand. I don't understand that I see in your face. But then I got some of you on Instagram said that you tried it and you thanked me saying it does work. I ice my face and I've been doing it for the past year. It is a skin saver. It helps to reduce the appearance of um, the pores on your face. It helps to um, reduce spots I know, you're thinking, how can ice reduce spots? Don't ask me how, but it does work. I got this advice from an esthetician based on the West Coast, her name is Marie Claire, and she told me about it and it does work. I've got a spot like on my chin, I will just like, just roll the ice, slide it over, and just keep doing that. And the ice is wet, right, because it's fluid. And so it just continues to just wet your face. It's cooling your face down. Because you know when you think about when you're supposed to wash your face, you're supposed to like splash it with cold water afterwards. This is taking that, this is 2.0 of doing that step. Just keep rolling it over your face. I usually ice my face for about less than a minute, but more than 20 seconds. So split the difference. I don't know, about 30 seconds. Morning and evening. After I've washed and cleansed my face, I ice it. And I do that every single time before I go on to apply a serum, a moisturizer, anything after that. Ice your face, trust me. Come back to me, whether on Instagram or here on YouTube, leave a comment on the video to say, yeah, I tried it, Karen, morning and evening, okay? I promise you, it does work. Deep puffing, it's, it works. I think that's one of the best natural skin tips I've ever ever come across because as little as a week I started to notice a difference definitely by the second week so definitely try it okay what do I want to do next um, uh, 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 uh. masks everyone is wearing masks at the moment at least we're supposed to be wearing masks worldwide they broke me out now I started to get like spots and the reason only why that they've started to go away and fade now is because of this what I'm doing and a lot of you probably know this but I wasn't doing it so I suffered so I paid the price wash your um, masks frequently if you have like cloth masks like me I have a lot of them here's one with sunflower on it which is so cute and I've got this one as well look at that that even goes with this anyway so I just I'm into fashion, so I like a good mask as well. Be chic at the same time, why not? So these are just a couple of the cloth masks that I have. Wash, the wash, wash them. If you can, the masks every single time you've used it. You go out for the day, you do your thing, you're wearing your cool mask or whatever, 
wash it as soon as you come home make that a habit because i paid the price like i said and i broke out all here and all here on my face and it was so oh god i was so annoyed when that happened anyway, also disposable masks as it says by the name use them once and then that's it your skin will thank you especially for a lot of people i know who um work in the medical profession or any industry where they have to keep a mask on for hours and hours and hours um, i've already heard that they've said that they you know they've broken out on their face another tip that i got regarding masks and i have not done this one yet but i'm actually thinking about doing it because i trust her opinion it's an esthetician that um you should put a layer of vaseline under on your face then put the mask on now i haven't done that yet because i'm always like what i thought vaseline you've got to be i'm not putting vaseline on my face but she said honestly karen i'm telling you it works you are not going to break out from it um do your normal skincare routine then just before you put the mask on put a layer of vaseline exactly where you would wear your mask put the mask on top the vaseline acts as a barrier between the mask and your skin i'm actually considering doing it because i trust her opinion so watch this space i will do it i will take it i'll take it for the team and try it but um, like i said i trust her opinion implicitly and everything that she has suggested skincare hack wise has worked for me so by the way while you're watching this video if you've got any skincare tips that you have been using and you're not hearing me you're not hearing me mention any of them please leave them in the comments below would love to see a comment section under this video where everyone is like sharing like their own tips like oh my god you know what i do which i swear by i do this this and this tell me what that is because i would love to be able to add more things on top of what i'm doing at the moment and also just for you guys to just share with each other so i think that's a Let's do it all right so another one is to speaking of washing and stuff just to wash your pillows frequently try and if you can once a week because the oils from your face they will build up on that pillow for days and days and days and you're just going back and putting your face straight back into that night after night after night so <laughs> that after that i'm trying to like mimic sleeping <laughs> do with pillows and i've mentioned this before in, in other videos but OG subscribers, you know I've talked about this before, you may even know I'm gonna say, silk pillow cases. It is like, just to have your skin not drag on cotton, which is A, drying, but also B, it just kind of pulls your skin at night. To use a silk pillow case and to have your skin just on that, it just, it's so gentle. It's almost like um, natural hair and you sleep with like a silk tie for your hair. It's the same thing. It's not rubbing and drying on your hair. It's not rubbing and drying your skin when you have a silk pillowcase. I'm not going to go on anymore about silk pillowcases because it's up to you lot. But I've, you can only lead a horse to water. That's as far as it goes. You just can't make that thing drink. So you don't have to do this. You don't do anything in this video. But I'm telling you, these everything I'm doing here, these are these are gems. Everything, every single thing here works. Don't touch your skin. That is a that is a skincare hack that I actually got that one from Michael. He's downstairs, so we can't hear. But um, yeah, that is an absolute must. So I've been doing it too ever since he mentioned that, which was years ago. And I instantly, it's like a night and day difference. I noticed, and it's something that I still have to check myself because sometimes you just you know when you're thinking you just subconsciously you just like you know you don't realize it often it's like you don't even know that you did it but when you start to be aware of it you start to realize how often in a day you will touch your skin do not touch because the oils the dirts from anything you're touching with your hands which is throughout the day hundreds of times you're just transferring that straight boop, straight to your skin <laughs> just don't do it after watching this video just try right just now you know because i've just told you so try to not <laughs> to not touch your skin after watching this video and just see over time the difference because i i definitely notice a difference this is about as basic as it gets but it is a skin care hack that has to be mentioned because it's a hall of fame it's a bit like exercising it's one of those things that oh i know that already but you don't do it what else da -da -da. Why am I dancing?
hydrate your bloody <laughs> hydrate yourself you've got to keep up with the water i have made it a point now where i have a tall drinking glass i don't do like the liter bottles i just have a glass because i work from home at home most of, most of the time and when i've downed that water i immediately get up and i go and refill it and put it back down I don't need to tell you, but we all know about the elasticity of your skin and just help to flush out your skin. Not only that, water is good for everything, actually. Not just that, just for like your digestive system, um, everything. Take the leaf out of a lot of models' books, which is to just drink, 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 drink. And I don't mean that kind of drinking. I mean like water. <laughs> Hey, oh my gosh, this is so true. I can't believe I almost forgot this one. Use a kitchen towel paper to dry your skin. Do not use a towel. Because towels they have bacteria in them and they house that and so when you're drying your face all you're doing is just kind of putting that on your face use a kitchen towel paper one sheet every time that you're drying your face just use that to pat dry your face that's one of the things I did about a year ago I started doing and I'm still doing it a year later I don't use towels anymore to dry my face especially like when I had my breakout um, you don't want to have any more bacteria added to your face from like towels so just take a clean sheet it works it's gentle and there's no bacteria on it and I've just been doing it ever since what else do I want to say and, oh my gosh or avoid iodine salt I used to think to myself that I was getting spots from crisps you know like crisps in America you call them chips in England we call them crisps I'm British I'm going to say crisps so I'll go with that crisps break me out and I honestly thought it was the oils same with like fried food I used to think it was the oils but I've come to realize bing, cute light bulb it's actually the flipping salt content because the salt content is very high on those products and it's usually iodine salt it's not usually like sea salt flipping salt high salt products make you break out so it does I've actually tested myself I've I've tried it and I've noticed the difference. Check your skin in general. SPF cream! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I was not going to. Do you know what? I don't even have SPF written on here. You know why? Because it's a given. SPF. Use SPF cream. I don't know why there's noise outside. Sorry if you can hear it, but there is. SPF cream is going to be your, your ride or die. It is... It is the number one thing next to sun. Avoid the sun and SPF. Those are your two holy grail. If you take nothing else from this video, it's to do those two things. Always wear SPF, round the clock, every day. I don't care if it's the dead of winter, you put SPF on your face. Make sure it's got UVA and UVB protection. There are so many good SPFs now, especially for darker skins that don't leave that white cast. SPF your bloody skin, that's all I'm gonna say. Do not skip it because it helps prevent things that's happening to your skin. It helps as a barrier against the sun. It helps to stop you getting those uh, moles that I usually get. And because I, I'm honestly, I think the sun triggers them for me. Just like freckles, the sun triggles, the sun triggles, the sun triggers freckles for some people. For me, my version of freckles is to get those Everything I showed you in this video, skincare routines, it all is not going to be as effective if you're not using an SPF to protect what you just did. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it right there. I think that's it. The noise outside. There's a tractor outside. I'm filming a video and there's a flipping tractor outside. All right, so that is it. Those are my skin hacks. Those are the things I love to do. I do them. I've been doing them, some of them for years, some of them in the past year, like icing, and I'm still doing them now, and I swear, I swear by them. I am acne prone, I'm an adult, but I still do get acne, I still break out. So the only way I can keep that under control is by following these things. If I don't, I'm out. I'm literally, my, that's my spot saying I'm out. It's literally gonna come out. So that is it, I will see you Friday for the, uh, I know makeover slash reveal video that's going to be going up on Friday um, in between now and then you can follow me on my Instagram my name is Karen Britchick I'll leave it on the screen it's the same as my YouTube channel try and keep it simple um, but that is it that is it I almost touched my face did you see that when I went that is it
didn't happen though. It was like right there. <laughs> I'm such a nutcase. Anyway. Anyway, I will see you guys next Friday. Bye. Also, should I do videos twice a week? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Do I? Anyway, I'm gone. Leave a comment about skincare below, okay? Tips. Tips. I'm asking you, leave a tip. It's not even asking, telling you. Don't keep it all to yourself, because I didn't, so share your tips below. All right, that's it. Bye.